Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Rights here, but I just thought I'd give you guys an update. So yesterday we talked about Swipe, SXP and how I said that we were going to get a breakout or it looked like that we were going to at least. Obviously you can see that that has played out and we're seeing, we're seeing roughly about a 40% increase since then, alright. I believe that it's got a lot uh, higher to go. Another reason that I believe that is um, as I woke up this morning I noticed there was an announcement from uh, Binance um, saying that they will support swipe wallet staking all right so that's something that's been anticipated as well staking which I believe is going to bring um, a lot of money into swipe and um, a lot of holders uh, okay obviously you can't stake without holding your crypto so yeah that's definitely something that will um, will uh, may have an effect on the price action to the upside as well they wait for a good chart setup and then they drop the news all right so obviously you can see i'm getting this breakout i'm going into price discovery so it's just a perfect time for binance to drop that news and say oh look you know we're supporting staking from from the wallet all right so i did say before obviously you can see all that volume coming in so i expected a price rise okay obviously we were underneath the resistance and we broke out above that it would be perfectly normal if it was to come back down and uh, retest this level of support and then shoot off so that would be a great time to buy however it's you know it's not guaranteed it will do that it might just carry on up so yes definitely um definitely want to watch swipe and uh yeah let's see how far that this can go to the upside all right looking at safe haven okay so yeah um in the previous video i did say that um i came out of safe haven um and i was waiting to see what would happen all right so obviously you can see we had a big breakout of this triangle over here all right big breakout of that triangle to the upside all right and now what i can see is a new uh, ascending line of support and a tri triangle breakout small triangle breakout all right um, obviously you can see it came up and we had a big sell-off but it did put in a higher low um, after this level all right we came up we got another higher low although we got a lower high we got another higher low but that doesn't mean that this move is finished yet okay but now we get a breakout of this resistance and what we would need to see is it break the horizontal resistance all right around about up here and that will confirm another move to the upside but i did get in based on the fact that we have broken out of this uh, downward um uh, resistance line um i mean since i got in we have seen that kind of big candle to the downside but that's went back up um that's probably just like you know a shake out we just wait for wait and see how this candle recovers before you jump in i would say you know not financial advice anyway uh, do your own research and whatnot but yeah it does look like it, it could be uh, continuing to the upside but i could be wrong and it could fail now after that we'll just have to wait and see only 10 minutes before we see a four hour close need to see this maintain above that line um and you know if we count the previous low it's still a, a higher low all right and if we take the wick out as well we just need to see that close above that line because then what, what that could be is just a breakout and a little bit of a retest and we need to break that uh, horizontal line of resistance all right and then safe haven could continue to the upside we get a, we looks like we got a, a ooh, okay it did look like we we're going to get a bullish mac d cross but obviously as you can see some like it can curl up can rejected get rejected and then like start heading back down in the other direction so if it does do that i'm obviously going to lose a little bit of money but you know from what i put in i could just hold that anyways it's um it's fine i do believe in this project for the long term all right obviously you can see it's going to break out break out yeah and then hopefully we could get one more breakout and a push through this resistance and continue continuation up all right no reason why it can't do it very low cap still um, very cheap coin and a uh, very good product inheritance solutions on the blockchain i think that's quite good and now let's have a look at spark point all right now spark point hasn't disappointed of course we were getting in i was getting in over here 
guys, I said to you that um, you'll be able to pick up some cheap spark point, um, and it did look like it was leveling out for support. And since then, we've had quite a large move, which has taken me into very, very nice gains. Um, about 100 and 155% overall before coming back down, still up like 113%. So that's, you know, that should have made you a little bit of money if you bought into that. I do believe that it's going to continue up um, rather than seeing, okay, so over here, you can see before, after it came down, it didn't quite level out for support. It was, it was just a little bit of a bounce. So we see it come down, we see that you get that little bounce, but then what it does is it comes back down and then it goes back into accumulation. All right. Over here, we saw the big rise. We see it come back down, but then we find support. All right, and then we get that bounce, but instead of coming back down into accumulation, what it's done is is corrected a little bit, and then it's bounced back up. All right, so we could see a W forming there, and we could see Ws forming all the way up. So there, we need to break the uh, the horizontal resistance, of course, around right about up here. Obviously, if we break that level, then spot point is going to probably do like it could be like a one wave and then a three wave and not large really massive move to the upside all right so don't quote me on that we'll just have to wait and see how it plays out all right um but yeah that's what i'm looking at with spark point that is on the two hour for some reason on the four hour it fits the same thing you can see it holding the moving averages and we'll see it hopefully uh, continue to the upside if we pull out the indicators let's have a look when i'm just holding i don't tend to uh keep the indicators on and one thing about bitmart it doesn't save your settings all the time so it's a bit annoying but yeah i mean matt d's looking okay that d's looking fine format that so you can see it guys yeah matt d's still in a bullish zone obviously the momentum is kind of could, could get a little bit of curve down to the downside but then we could see a, a more momentum to the upside anyway so it's fine the rsi is in a neutral level uh, more or less all right so yeah that doesn't look too bad, you know, it's, it's it's not oversold, it's not overbought, so it could go either way, but like with the um, with the, the, the accumulation to the upside, you know, it does look more, you know, probable that we, we could get a, a continuation to the upside. If you look at the accumulative swing, you know, we've seen no big move, no, no big stretch on the line chart, um, so yeah, it does look kind of alright, and I'm you know hopeful that this will continue to the upside all right guys so yeah it's just a quick update this morning all right like comment subscribe and i'll see you again in the next one